everyone, I'm back again, finally, with another episode. Um, sorry I didn't update the other day like I had planned to. I got a little sick and I'm just now starting to feel better. But anybody, so today we're going to be doing the Sea Slug quest, and I actually have no idea where to start on this one. I don't remember this one from RuneScape 3. Like I said, I don't really do much questing at all, unless I absolutely have to. So... I don't even know if this one was in Princecape or not. Like, you know, third. <laughs> but, but, um... Anyway, I do know that we have to find somebody named Carolyn. Um, oh, there she is. Found her. That was kind of easy. Uh, and so we're just going to kind of wing it from there. I do know that I need something on Swamp Paste, but um, Almighty Alcoholic, who's probably doing by now, did not tell me where to get it or anything. So, so we'll just see. Okay, so basically we just gotta go find our people. Ah, okay, okay. So, Kenneth and her husband, I think Kenneth is her son, didn't really pay attention to that part. Isn't C where they- oh, okay, so that's where the swamp face comes in handy. Swamp tar and flower. Where, okay. Okay. So swamp tar and flower. All right. So that's all we need to make that. Whoops! I didn't mean to click that. Let me just make sure I got everything. I heat it over fire. Um, I know I have to have like level 30 fire making for this quest. I don't see why. Maybe it'll tell me later, but I don't know. Just so weird. Cause surely you don't have to use a special type of log to you to make this. But then again, I never know. So maybe it'll surprise us. I do got some flour though, that's good. I was actually just coming in here to get runes and I forgot to look which one I needed. Because I can never remember these things. That would be way too much to ask for. Alright, so I just need like one law rune. And look! I was practicing thieving. <laughs> I'm just training thieving today. A little bit. So on my sick days I did actually do a little bit of uh, training. Just not, you know... An awesome amount. I went from like 26 to 30 fire making, and then I think I went up two levels in thieving. So, wow, that's a lot of work. I'm just kidding. Fire making wasn't that bad, but um, actually, I think the thieving was. Oh lord. Okay, I failed. So, we just eventually have to use the spell to get back to Lumbridge, get some tar, uh, then we can come back here and patch this boat up, and that's going to be a lot of walking. But it's okay. <laughs> I think it's been 20 seconds. Oh, no. No, that's bad. Oh, I can't count. I wasn't painting now. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so sorry for everything. What? How can I fail three times in a row? Watch yourself, almighty alcoholic. Is it 20 seconds yet? No. I'm getting a little bit better, though. 
now. Yes! So I got a little bit too excited for that. That's ridiculous. Okay. Anyway, so now I had to walk all the way around the castle to get to the swamp tar, which is somewhere in the swamp. I don't remember exactly where, though. But at least we know that there's a fire. But anyway, if not, I always have my trusty axe and my tool... Or not my toolbox, my tinderbox. God dang it. All my friends were complaining that I was too quiet in the previous videos, which, yeah, I understand. But it's like, I'm not really a talkative person, so I don't know why I thought YouTube would be a great idea. But I'm going to try to talk more. So hopefully it'll work out. And I'm sorry in advance if I annoy somebody, because I'm probably going to. I have no idea what I'm doing. That's kind of the point, though, isn't it? Okay. Well, anyway, so we did get some swamp tar, so that's great. I think we just use it with the flower. Oh, look at that. That worked. We just need one, right? I hope so. That's all the flour I have. Okay, so we use uncooked on the fire. Luckily, it's nothing fancy. Otherwise, we'd have to use a range. And now we have swamp paste. Look at that, guys. All right. I don't know what the heck we're going to do with that, though. Maybe we could sell it to a general store or something. But not Lumbridge. They're a little too cheap on their prices. Let's go back to... Already and see if we can rip somebody off there. Because what I did do is, not only did I thieve from the um, bakery stole, I also sold it back to the baker. So, that's how much I got. Like, if you buy a cake, it costs 50 coins, but if you want to resell it, it's going to be 40 coins. So I just made, like, 40. You know. So, I mean, it's not too bad, but it's kind of, like, really? I don't think it's 50 for, like, one cake. I can't remember. I'd have to look at that again. I just now thought about that. I don't really remember how much it was. Well, thank you. That's probably the nicest thing you've said to me in months. Um, <laughs> we're so mean to each other, I don't know why. We're really great friends, so if anyone thinks that I'm bullying him or he's bullying me, it's not. That's not the case at all. Like, you should see me and my friend Jim. We're even worse. But anyway, like, he's just... I don't know. It's funny. No, we want to go to Crandor. I'm kidding. We should not go there yet. At all. Did I miss the yes please again? Okay. Okay. I always gotta remember it's gotta light up the other color. Like red. <laughs> I forgot the name for a minute. Red. Only I would forget a color's name. Like what a color is called. I swear I'm not stupid, but I'm not, making, I'm not helping my case at all. See, there he goes again. You're welcome. I do this all for your entertainment. Specifically you. You're the only one that watches consecutively, I think. Okay, so we did not get hit by any scorpions, which is a freaking. I quit. I quit, so. Oh my god. It's 
See, this is why you don't say anything, just anything at all. This is why I'm quiet, because I know if I say something, I'm going to immediately regret it. It's like putting my foot in my mouth. I'm not even mad, I'm just kind of like in sheer awe that this game would do this to me. It's like Jagex is listening. Like, okay, wait for this moment. She's going to say something. We know she's going to say something. And then we strike. Do this every freaking time. It's like one time when I first started, I went to the wilderness because I had to get something out of the wilderness. I don't remember what it was, but it must have been important or something, or I must have been really stupid. Either, either of the two, you know. But anyways, if I went into the wilderness, then you know, I got pretty far in there to get whatever I was after. And, um, <laughs> I didn't get attacked the entire way over there until I said something like, Oh, this is this is actually kind of nice. It's, it's dead quiet in here. Three to four people show up, and I'm just dead in like two seconds. I was really... I was not someone who should have been in the wilderness in the first place. So... And for me to say something, I know not to say things. Because I know as soon as I do, something goes wrong. Like the scorpion, but you've seen the proof. So, but yeah, you know. I learned after that to be like super sneaky in the wilderness and just keep my freaking mouth shut. And now you could, you could do some teleport stuffs. So, <laughs> lodestones are a godsend. But that's enough of easy scape. We're on the hard scape right now. For all the old school players, like I'm surprised they didn't jump right on board with this when they could because oh my god, old school players supposedly wanted a challenge, right? Well, yeah, I don't know why you're in the old school. This is this is much more challenging. Like I regret not finding this sooner, and like, well, when I did find it sooner, I regret not playing it sooner. I'm really sad that this won't be out for that much longer, and I'm kind of freaking out, because I know I'm probably not going to... I heard something, sorry. <laughs> I get so distracted. Um, I'm really sad that, you know, I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all of the quests, because my requirements are so freaking low, and I, for some reason, I had just assumed that, oh, you know, it, it, they didn't get very far with everything, so maybe... It'll be low requirements, and I'm sitting here looking at, like, one quest has 45 level thieving, and I'm like, oh, dear god. That's probably not going to work out very well. But, I did look at the training guide for thieving, so if I stick with the bakery stalls until level 25, and then go to the warriors till level 40, etc, etc, it should work out at a decent pace. But anyway, back to the quest. Wait, what do you? What, oh, okay, let's do it. I was, th I don't know what I was thinking, but it wasn't that we're gonna go. They had to. What is this? See, I'm too distracted. Sea slug. Uh. Can I attack him? No, he'll kill me. What are these? Somebody, let me know what's going on. Must find family. So we'll all be together. That's kind of creepy. <laughs> oh no. They're all under the blue. Deep, deep under the blue. Oh god. Okay. So we need to find Kenneth and... What was it? Well, I can't scroll this thing very well, but that's not really the point. Okay, well, I don't know who we're looking for, but it's... I want to say Kent and Kenneth, but that just sounds funny. It's probably right, but it sounds funny. <laughs> oh, here's Bailey. I don't think we need Bailey, but he's a cook man. Let's see what he knows. Well, hello there. What are you doing? Okay, yeah, so we are looking for- okay, Kent and Kenneth, okay, <laughs> sorry Jagex, whoever made this quest, so sorry. Um, what am I supposed to do with those?
He just stops talking to me after I said I doubt they'd taste good. Okay, well, forget you. Why is there broken glass? And it allows us to take this, so maybe it's important. I don't know. So this is where coming in, like being a loot, loot, a uh, looter comes in handy because if we pick up everything, we won't ever miss anything. Capiche? What is this? Can we take this? Too? Yes, we can. <laughs> Let's walk around and see what else we can. I kind of want to take one of these, but I don't want it to kill me. See? You can't pick up everything, guys. If it if it's if it's like that, don't pick it up. Let's just pick up the inanimate objects, like glass. Honestly, I was expecting the glass to like hurt me, because it's freaking glass. Oh, there's a ladder. I did not see that. Is that a ladder? Yeah? Okay. I was going to say, okay, I didn't see the thingy, but... Oh, we're upstairs now. Okay, it's so platform, platform, platform. Fisherman. We need Kent and Kenneth. Where's the dudes? Where's my bros at? There's Kenneth. Come here, Kenneth. How are you hiding in a room with no doors? Just, uh, I just wanted to ask that. As a parent, I would make sure they're at least hiding in a room with freaking doors. But to each their own. Maybe he knows something I don't. Hey, let's operate this, see what happens. That's probably a terrible idea. Hmm. Didn't do crap. Okay, well, let's talk to what's his face again. Oh, we found him. That's magical. You wrecked your boat. Then why did you go on it? Oh my god. It's like parasites. Okay, so we accidentally almost got controlled, but probably not really. <laughs> okay, so now we got to we got to get the kiddo. What? Oh, I better stop doing that because rude. Keep away, human. Leave her face the deep blue. Frickin' creepy, dude. Can I go up the ladder now? Wait a minute. It's something to do with this, isn't it? Now what do I do? Uh, okay. Let's see if Cookman knows anything since we've been gone. I don't know. I'm lost. I have no idea. Oh, okay. So now he does realize that they're doing something. Oh, 
Oh, okay. I'm glad to talk to him then. Crap. Oh, well, I got you covered. I accidentally fi figured that out already. So, we're okay. Awesome. I can't hold the torch, though. So, dang it. Can we go up there again? I don't want to die, but uh, yeah, it should be fine. So we'll be okay. We did it! <laughs> Thank God. Alright, let's get the little kiddo. Come on, Kenneth. We gotta go back now. He said no. What? Uh, how? Are we gonna do that? I didn't agree to this character. Okay, this is not how this kind of Okay, so it's empty. Can I just put the kid in the barrel? That'd be cool. Can I set you on fire? He seems afraid of your torch. Okay, well, I couldn't burn him, so that was the goal of everything. What happens if I do this? Can we do that to all of them? I don't know. Okay, that seems boring. Let's find something else to do. I don't know, maybe we can talk to one of them to get us, like, let us use this to get him down or something? Must find family. Okay, see, so he's still kind of sane. Probably not, but we'll pretend he is. Right, what about this one? Nope, he's not. Okay, I'm done talking to you, character, to shut up. Wait, did they all say that? Let me go back downstairs and see what's up. We've got to figure something else out. Talk to Bailey again, see if he thinks of anything else. They keep pulling up those nasty sea slugs. Okay, so maybe we should stop them from pulling up sea slugs, but how are we going to do that? I don't even know how they're doing it. He's moving around a lot. Maybe. Maybe I'm just, you know, paranoid. It's a bad idea to use a torch on water, but we're going to do it anyway. Nothing happens. Okay, well. Dang. Nope, I don't know what to do. Oh, okay. Well, let's talk to What's-His-Face again. Not Bailey, but the other dude. Walgrath or whatever. I can't remember what his name is. Oh, Walgrath.
wait a minute. I'm going to do over here now. What if one of the railings falls through or something? Okay, so I, I, my instinct says to use this, but I don't know how to use it to our favor. I don't know, maybe if I can get the kid to move over here with the crane, maybe I can just ask him to do that. Okay, so no, he won't go near the slugs. And if I can't get him out of this room, I don't know how I'm going to use the operating crane, like, because if that's the way I do it, you know. I don't know. It just seems like something I want to do. How am I supposed to, like, am I supposed to go back and get his dad or something? It's going to be a hassle. I'm not running back and forth. This kid just better come with me. Okay, let's see. Probably should just talk to his dad. But there has to be a way to, like, get him to actually... Like, the crane has to be the answer. Like, why else would it be there, you know? Wait a minute, what? Are you kidding me? That was almost... What the crap? Okay. Is there another loose panel I can break? Because he still doesn't want to go. Probably not, but... Well, we're still going to try to operate it just in case it works. I think maybe if he sees me moving it, he'll come out and be like, Oh, I got this! These kids are weird. Oh. Huh, that did work. Okay. See, you guys, I knew it. I knew you had to use the crane. Alright, where's what this face? There we go. Okay, cool. Awesome, we're here. Alright, let's talk to what's her face to get the reward.
Awesome. All right, so we got one quest point and seven fishing levels. Alrighty. So that's really cool. I'm glad we figured that one out in a reasonable amount of time. <laughs> I guess we can craft them because I really don't know where to sell them at. Um, but anyway, so that does it for this video. Thank you all for watching, and I will try to update again as soon as possible. I'm going to be doing a anime marathon with my server for a little bit, and so I probably won't do it for the next few hours. But tonight I'm going to try to do another one. Just I'm not going to set a for sure thing because I always mess that up. But anyway, so I will see you all in the next video. Bye.